Yo, what's up guys? Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily install Java for Windows 11. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if this helps you out. And the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your favorite browser and type in GDK download. And you're going to want to click on the first link by Oracle. And I'm going to be leaving this same link in the description so you don't have to go through the trouble of typing it up. Now, currently Java has two different versions available, 18 and 17, but we're going to be focusing on the latest, Java 18, so make sure you're hovering over that, and we're going to be going to Windows. Now, Windows currently has three different installers available, but we're going to be focusing on the x64 normal installer, so make sure you click that download link, and it'll start installing. Now, depending on what browser you have, it's going to either install in the bottom left or the bottom right, but if it doesn't, you can go ahead and click on the search bar right down here and type in downloads, click downloads file folder, and it'll show up here. But we have it in the browser, so go ahead and click on the arrow, open, and it's gonna show up with a pop-up asking for permissions, just click yes. And at this point in time, we don't need the browser anymore, so you can go ahead and X out of that. And now you can just follow along like a normal installer. So just click next next and it'll start downloading now once it's done downloading you can go ahead and click close and that's pretty much it you just downloaded java 18 so if you want to make sure that you did everything right and that is properly installed on your computer then go ahead and click on the search bar right down here and type in apps and features now this is just going to show a list of everything you have installed so under search apps, just type in Java and it should show Java version 18 right here. And if you had Java installed in the past, then you go ahead and click on the three dots and uninstall any previous versions. So your computer is only running on the latest version you installed. So I hope this helped. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if it did. And I'll see you guys in the next one.